Hey, what's up? It's Matt with Enlightened Minds. How's everyone doing today? I hope you're having a great day. Hey, today I want to talk about negative thoughts. How to change a negative thought um, pattern or a feedback loop that gets stuck in your head that you think, you know, you're not good enough, this, that, and another. Well, I want to talk about this today, and I want to talk about a, a couple different ways that we can change that, and we can have change it from negative thinking to positive thinking. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button down below. Much appreciated. Helps me grow this channel, get this content out there, and get it to people that need to hear it. And share this. Someone on your timeline really needs to hear this. You might not think that, but a lot of people are suffering, and, and they're not even talking about it. So, let's get into this video. Let's get started. So, I want to talk about negative thoughts. When you think, when you, when you're, when you're thinking all day long, um, you tend to have, m most people right now in this day and age tend to have more negative thoughts than positive. Which, there's a spectrum, okay, from here to here. Like, if you have, if you have, uh, this many negative thoughts compared to this many, your life's gonna be half better. Because your mind state is going to be more stable. You're going to have more positive. This is all going to be positive. And then this you might have negative. But you can keep working on it. And keep telling yourself affirmations in the morning. Wake up. Tell yourself affirmations. Tell yourself you're good enough. Know yourself that you're good enough. Love yourself. Then Now we can... We can change the, our feedback loop the way of thinking but we ne also need to change the what we're what we're ingesting for content what we're watching what we're putting in our brains because what we put in our brains can change the way we think it's a it's psychology it's all psychology and once you learn um how psychology works you can understand it and real and figure it out and um so for negative thoughts you want to um, there's a practice. There's a couple different practices um, I use for that I that I used to use, and I still use. Good, not not. I'm not perfect. I still have my flaws, but I used to have like on a spectrum up to here negative thoughts all day long, all day long, just negative, negative, negative. And then I realized once I started meditating, and and um, they it started to go down. Once I start meditating, I'm having more positive thoughts than negative thoughts. Well, then. I add in, you know, there, there's, uh, practices of like, um, like, uh, gazing, sun gazing, where you're staying at a candle. And it's kind of the same thing as meditation, but it works if you can't meditate. Um, take, take a candle, light it, and just stare at the flame of the candle. It will really help. Now, there's that, there's learning about the mind, how the mind works, how, how, um, deception works, and how, they are deceiving your mind into believing that all these all these things and in your and in result and there's cause and effect. Now cause and effect over the last year and a half has been extraordinarily more than it ever has been before because there's so much this chaos and this evil, this, that, that on Netflix, this and that. And we wanna really work on changing our mindset. Our mindset of how we wake, when we wake up, don't think, hey, it's going to be a bad day. You automatically think, hey, it's going to be a freaking great day. I'm going to go do this. I'm going to do this. Um, even if you don't have much to do, it's still going to be a good day. You have to think like this. But the, the, the secret is, is you have to continue to think like this. If you start going back into the old way of thinking, you'll start to notice you'll have more negative thoughts than positive thoughts. And that is tremendously... It, it, once you, the, the realization of your thoughts, of observing your thoughts, and then, and then changing the patterns, the for, the, the feedback loops, all these different things that, that work as how your mind works. And we, um, as, as human beings, a lot of times we don't understand exactly how it works. We don't understand why we're depressed. We don't understand why we have anxiety. We don't understand why, why, you know, it, it the world works the way it does. And we have to come to the conclusion in our head that we have to take a step every single day to put more positive thoughts more positive instead of thinking oh hey today it's raining i can't go fishing you know i think hey 
today it's raining. I can make I can make something that can help another person. You know, I wouldn't have been able to make this video today if I would have went fishing like I was planning on it. So everything happens for a reason. And I think negative when you when you start thinking all these negative thoughts, you're you're putting yourself into a state of of not only of fear and anxiety, all these different things, but learned helplessness. And you've been conditioned over the last how long, but you get stuck in learned helplessness. And then you feel like you can't get out of it. But there is a way out, I'm telling you. There's through meditation, through, um, you know, you can find all through different religions. I don't want to get religious, but through different religions, there's practices that really work. There's, um, you know, one thing that I can really say that helped me with neg my negative thoughts was forgiving other people, forgiving other people and, 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 and trying to understand and looking at it from a different point of view, because that really can change your perception on things. And when we're working on our minds to get better every single day, we have to we have to be taking that step. We have to be learning. We have to be digging deep into what's really going on. But we have to have control of this. Because if we don't have control of this, we have nothing. This is everything, our brain. Now, do you want to have a, a disordered brain that's always thinking negative? No, you want to have a positive uh, thoughts, positive thoughts all day long. Like, like this is good in my life. This is this, this, I, you know, my life right now, I tend to have a lot more, like my, my spectrum of positive thoughts is way up here. Yeah. I still have my flaws. I think, you know, the, there, there's negative thoughts here and there, but overall I've managed to overcome the negative thinking, which kept me in depression, which kept me in anxiety, which kept me in all these different states of being, my state of mind that I didn't want to be in. Please spread this message. Please share it. I love you all. I'll talk to you later. And once again, don't forget, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification, that bell if you want instant notifications when I upload. And please spread this past this. Someone needs to hear this. Think good about yourself. Do affirmations, meditate, there's things you can do, love yourself, learn how to love yourself, that's the most important key. Talk to you guys later.